Well, a very good evening and uh, a warm welcome to the Ishin Mi Live Stadium. Tonight we're in Yamagochi, which is uh, also known as the entrance to the mountains. Unfortunately, the dark and weather means you can't see the backdrop of the mountains inside the Ishin Mi Live Stadium. And as you can see there, it's been a pretty wet and dreary day. Ponchos at the ready. Waterproof ones, of course. It's been a long journey for those Mito Hollyhock supporters. This is all about survival for Renofa. They are still five points ahead of the bottom two. But those bottom teams just keep on picking up points. Up at the top, the leaders, Yokohama, that know they could be toppled off the top. Now BRX Nagata at half-time, they're leading Rosso by one goal to nil. Next to a goal from Kumi in uh, that match at the Denka Big Swamp. Brave in the wet weather, the fans. Expected a good crowd inside the stadium tonight. The Renofa players arriving. Five points sounds like a nice cushion to have over the relegation places, but their form has not been good. Five points above the drop zone with 11 to play. Here's how the home side line up. They've made two changes. Nazakazu Yoshioka comes in at right wing back. And Wataru Tanaka gets the start in a three-prong attack alongside Sabazu, Umeki and Takaya Numata. Suspension ruling out Ryoto Kadama. For the visitors, Mito Hollyhock there without... Yoshitaki Suzuki red carded last week against Blublitz Akita. In come Neo Yamada, the 19 year old central defender. Kenshin Takagishi and Tabinas Jefferson, the Philippines international, formerly of Kawasaki Frontale, gets the start. Takayuki, mate. Recently returned from a second, for a second spell. From Matsumoto Yamaga, he'll be part of that midfield alongside Kenzuki Sato, another recent signing from Yokohama. Their manager is Yoshihiro Natsuka. なかなかまあ兼ねない状況が続いていますけれども、こんな時に監督が一番大事にされていることはどんなことですか？ もうあの、ぶれないことです。うん、もう今まで積み上げてきたことをしっかりとえ、フィールドの中で、え、表現するうん、だけだと思ってます。選手にはそんなお話をされているんですか。もちろん。はい。え、そして前節を受けて改善点
from a Fukushima United player. He's been asked to add goals to his name. Just the one this season from midfield. およそ2週間ぶりの一戦ということになりますけれども、選手たちの表情いかがですか。ようやく我々としてはこう移籍してきた選手含めてで、いろいろこう先日放たた選手含めてて全員が戻ってきた状態になりましたから非常にこうギラ
to be Ines Jefferson. Called back into the side. One of three changes made by Tadahiro Akiba. Plenty of smiles between the two sets of players. And they just want to be getting underway on a wet evening. Let's have a run through those two lineups, shall we? Renoff up, two changes. Suspension ruling out Kodama. In comes Wataru Tanaka and Mazakazu Yoshioko. Yoshioko will play on the right hand side, though he's traditionally a left footer. Some debate as how they will line up. Referee today is Tomohiro Inua, one of the regulars in the division. Nito Hollyhock, three changes for them. There's a Yoshitaki Suzuki is ruled out for a red card picked up against Blobletsukita last week. Yeah, Yamada, 19-year-old, comes into the heart of the defence. Kenshin Takagishi gets a start in midfield. As we mentioned earlier, Tabinas Jefferson, the Philippines international, formerly of Kawasaki Frontale, starts on the left-hand side of a back four. Azuki Mada, just the one goal this season. He is actually one yellow card away from a suspension. And offer just five points above the relegation places going into this game. And that gap is going to close unless they start winning games. Nito have got very little to play for, really. Apart from pride and the highest possible finish. Their away form has been good. They haven't lost since the trip to Jeff United in May. They're unbeaten in five. Three draws in the last four. The Norfolk's need is the great up. As we get ready to... Get underway, whistle goes, and eventually Tanaka gets things going. And an early header for Jefferson. It's placed up in the air by Kenzuki Sato and out for a throw. They always say a league campaign is a marathon, not a sprint. If you Familiarise it to the track that runs around the pitch here. We're at the stage where we're just coming round the bend to the final straight. This is the important bit of the race. Head injury for Sabasa Amiki. Homegrown talent. Pretty watertight this season, Renofa. Don't score too many goals, don't concede too many. No matter. Uh, their go to man was seven, six in the J2 league this season. Four assists as well for the 23 year old. She's hit the ground running since returning to the professional game after graduating from Kanza University. Jefferson gets it away. It's not a purposeful clearance. Made up. You meet up.
Lampo height. Over towards Sabaki on the left hand side. It's going to be a corner. Slipped away from Rico Terracado. Two goalkeeper on loan from Yokohama F. Marinus. First corner of the game. Cross goes Ryosuke Maeda to take it. deep into the box but headed away by Kikuchi so back in again by Takagishi he's lucky to get away with it there Suneda carefully prodded forward by Namata and they can break away but he should have done well to win it back for Suneda An interchangeable system that Mito play with. Take it. Sineda starting over on the left. Here's a chance and a sighting of goal. Rather sloppy defending there by Mito Hollyhock and Sabasa Umeke. Was spotted by a long ball from Kikuchi. Look at that. He's run off the shoulder of the defender. Who lost his trail of thought for a second. That's a great ball forward. Was sloppy from Kuzumoto. Fortunate for him, Amito Hollyhock. The shot from Subasa. Umeki was wide. Lunge forward by Kurahishi. May. The outside of him. Tanaka gets the cross in, away by Kusumoto. Kuara. Kikuchi, veteran defender at 36. Good chance early on for Amiki. Five minutes now on the clock. That has been the highlight of the opening five minutes. Pitch, by the way, showing no signs of a day-long downpour. It's neat and tidy. Takashi. Kurohishi. Hits the feet of Suneda. Made up. Suneda tried to plot the tight route forward. Kodo Daihai was quickly dislodged and the ball lobbed over the top. Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Goalkeeper was wandering off his line. And it's been improvised quite brilliantly by Tanaka. Well, that's just what Ronofa's doctor ordered. Where did that come from? Great improvisation to spot the goalkeeper that far off his line from that far out. It's a sensational goal. Six minutes gone. And it just comes to him. Look, well inside his own half. He's had a look up. Goalkeeper's wandering. And he's lofted it straight over the top of him and in. It's brilliant play by Wataru Tanaka. Well... Certainly one person it wasn't expecting it was Luis Yamagotchi. Who's been embarrassed in Yamagotchi. The French-born goalkeeper is red-faced as he's beaten from well inside his own half by Wataro Tanaka. Inside the opening six minutes, 
It's Ronofa that take the lead, and you won't get tired of looking at this goal. What a sensation. Yes, it's a bit fortunate he comes to him. Not going to see the rest, but he looked up. He had a little glance. He didn't see too many prospects left or right or down the middle, so lofted it over the goalkeeper. It doesn't matter how they go in. When you're struggling down at the bottom, you just want them to go in. And that's a priceless goal. And he's been brought into the side to find goals. Three assists and three goals this season now. Taru Tanaka. It's fair to say that the fans thoroughly enjoyed that. Delivery to the box, and this time Yamagachi is in the right place at the right time. You can't blame the goalkeeper for being that far off his line with his side in possession, three quarters of the length down the field. is when you have a go from that far out if you don't execute it to perfection everyone looks at you and says what a waste so it was brave from Tanaka Sabaki that's a good ball in that's brave the goalkeeper from Terracado to get down at the feet of Yamada Foul. It's going out for a throw. Miki stayed out. This is the third meeting of the season between the two. Mito won the April meeting at home 3 2 in the league. But Renault for one at Mito in extra time 2 1 in the Emperor's Cup. This is the first meeting here. It's 1 all. Should we call this the decider? Last season's meeting here, 2-2. Two -two. Previous season, Mito came here and won 4-1. 24 goals in the last seven meetings. And that includes a 0-0 at Mito in July of last season. This is a fixture that tends to bring out the goals. And it's brought one in the opening few minutes. on their way to the top of the table. Yokohama being held by Fagiano, nil-nil. In uh, that game at the Mitsusawa. Alberex leading at the big swan, the Denka big swan against Rosso by a goal to nil. Ryukyo, bottom. They could climb out the bottom too with a victory there. Just heading into half-time against the informed Montedeo. Montedeo, top of the form table. Just two points outside the playoffs, but Ryuki were winning that 1 1 0. Blorblitz to Kita 0 to Chi Yi 1. This after Blorblitz have picked up a run of four unbeaten. Back on his feet. Moving gingerly, Sabasa. Mimiki had that early chance, didn't he, which he pulled across the face of goal. Momentarily, the home side down to 10 men. Same again. It's a good block from Sineda. K2. Is it for the goal scorer, Tanaka? Incomplete pass. Back to him by the returning Amiki back in the fold after that injury. 
Oh, that's poor. He could get punished here, Mitsu Hollyhock. The shot was wide by Numata. Tamaya. No, Tamaya. Numata. What on earth was Kurishi thinking? Numata. Seven goals this season, four assists. If you're going to give the ball away, it's probably not to him. It did take a deflection on its way through. It is a corner. As it goes short. So can you keep mate? Still in play. Cleared away by Kuruishi. And as far as Kensuki Sato. And side able to keep the ball. Pushing forward from Yamada. It's beyond Watanabe and out for a goal kick. of him, Kuruishi, Furbis, he's been forward so far. Mara. Kuzumoto. Just about kept it by Kuruishi. Or was it? No, the assistant referee says the ball had crossed the line despite his best intentions. He just stepped over the line as he headed it back in. Sent with just the one goal. I don't know if I'm wanting more. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Overdue home victory. I don't know if I would certainly help them in their quest for survival, but it's headed away at the near post. It was a good delivery in. Certainly now it needed to be dealt with by somebody. As well as scoring a wonderful goal from inside his own half, Tanaka. He's seen his team create the two other best chances of the game so far. To Hollyhock. Yet to create something. That might change here. Subaki. Struggling to stop him. It was Takahashi. But he did stop it in the end. It was definitely a foul. And a yellow card. And quite rightly so, to be honest. It was a forceful challenge. The only way he's going to stop him. Let's see like a heart of the game. Here in Neori, Takahashi. His second season after joining the club following his graduation from university. 
a regular in the side this season, 23 year old. Razuki made up, will deliver this ball into the box. And there are plenty of suitors waiting for it. And Alpha need to be on their toes. It's too high. It was easy. Faruki Terracado. On a wet day, they say, test the goalkeeper. Quite sure that was what Tanaka had in mind when he lobbed the goalkeeper from 10 yards inside his own half for the only goal. If you're just joining us, you've missed an absolute brilliant goal from Wataru Tanaka. Picked a loose ball up, 10 yards inside his own half. Didn't even get to the half, uh, to the centre circle. He's lofted it right over the top of Yamagotchi and in. It's a team from Yamagotchi, ran over the lead. By a goal to nil. It's a quick throw. Goes Tanaka again, not content with just one goal. He continues to fall heavily. It's out for a throw. by a ball to the left-hand side, which Jefferson gets away. Takahashi. Tadakado. Watanabe. Uniform of the Galta and Vissel Koba player. Straight out for a throw. Your next live action from the Maida Yasuda J2 League is next Saturday, 1900 hours Japanese time, 1100 hours British summer time. We'll be bringing you the action from the NAC5 Stadium of struggling Amir Ardija as they entertain the playoff chase in Montedeo Yamagata, who are the informed side in the league at the moment. They're currently losing 1 0 at Ryukyu. It's a huge match at both ends of the table, that one, so be sure to join us next Saturday on the J League International YouTube channel. There's some great live action coming up. It's Sunday the 4th of October as well, 1900 hours Japanese time, 1100 hours British summer time will be at the Ishikawa Kanazawa Stadium for Zwejin against playoff hopefuls Omiya Ardija. Kusumoto to Maeda. Busy Kitaki Saneda, unable to turn. Kusumoto again. Why from Dohai? Suki made up. Dohai. Jefferson. Trip by May. Kuzumoto. Put back inside by Subaki. It's picked off by Ranofa. That's a good ball out towards the right hand side. Takahashi. Inside to Yoshioka. Tanaka. Cross by May. Takahashi. Decisive play from the home side, blocked by Jefferson. Can go anywhere that loose ball. Philippines international defender gets it clear. Right. Just 
been a very humid evening despite the wet weather. Jefferson. 22 minutes on the clock. Home side deserved their lead. They've been the better side so far. Kuzumoto. Takagishi. Kuzumoto. Turning full circle, Sabaki. Really been able to cause any sort of problems to that back three so far. Mito Hollyhock, it's been a comfortable afternoon for Takahashi. And Watanabe. And Kazuki, Kikuchi. To that back three. Have a combined age of 70. Hirofumi Watanabe is 34, Kazuki Kikuchi 36. Hidenaro Takahashi is a more modest 23. Playing his trade and learning his trade alongside two veterans of the game. Long ball forward from Kikuchi and he's got that in his locker. Neatly tacked outside by Namata. Jefferson cross, uh, gets the cross blocks but it comes to May. Wrestling away. Trying to win it back and made out and the ball into the box it was dangerous and also almost on the end of it was Yoshioka. The flag was up anyway. Looked like it was going nowhere, this little tussle between Yamada and May. May come out on top. And it was a glancing header for Mimiki which was pushed away by the goalkeeper Yamagochi. And here comes the drinks break. Which outlines just how humid it is here in Yamagochi this evening. This is where we get to see the goal again. So if you haven't seen it yet, enjoy it. Straight over the top of the goalkeeper by Wataru Tanaka. What a goal. That's the first time I've seen it from that angle. <laughs> Super strike. Half time, Ryukyu leading Montedeo by a goal to nil. That game at the Tapit Kenze Haigan. Too many goals about. We've had one here. Super goal it was too. 20 minutes from the end at Alberex Nigata against Rosso. It's still 1-0 now to Alberex. And they could go top of the table today because Yokohama and Fagiano are nil-nil at the moment in that game between first and fourth. Alberex against Rosso is second against fifth. So two big games. We've also got Ryukyu or bottom against eighth in the table in form Montedeo. So some great games going on this weekend. Ten games today. And they're all in action now with the exception of Zvejan against Vivara Nagasaki, which has been postponed. Drinks break over. out the play for a throw. Kuroishi. Six attempts on goal from the home side, none from the away side, and yet the away side have had marginally more of the ball, 51%. Straight around the corner by Kode Doho. Former Shane Fresh, Hiroshima player, signed on the eve of the season from the J1 League Club, former Japanese under 18 international. He's still only 21. Just couldn't get a game at Sam Fresh. Decided to drop down a division for regular football to 
prove his worth. Shoka. Turn the matter. Couldn't quite find room for the shot. No high back there again. Runs the ball up against Takahashi, who knocks it out for a throw. Renault promoted out the local leagues back in 2013. Then they had back to back promotions from the JFL and the J3, taking them into J2, which is where they've been ever since. Just one top 10 finish in 2018. Mito Hollyhock have been in the J2 continuously since 2000, but their highest position was twice finishing seventh. Two sides that, it's fair to say, haven't got anywhere near cracking the safe for a passage through to the top flight of Japanese football. regular fixture in the last few seasons this match Renault are leading this one by a goal to nil Kuehara Tanaka Nibata the other way only as far as Watanabe, Sato, Kurahara, Kurahara, just about stopped by Suneda, the expense of a corner. They look much more potent going forward, Renault, for the Me Too Hollyhock. draw nil nil last year in the league at Mito but take that aside these two tend to serve up a nice menu of goals we've seen a nice goal so far for Will Phil they're worthy of a second they have got a corner which Kanzuki Sato will take Midfielder Sato, that is the deepest corner I've seen for a while. It's brought down out of the sky by Kikuchi. I think that was one off the training ground. Lanced away by Takagishi. And out for a throw. Suki Sato's corner there was a very, very deep one from the player recently signed from Yokohama. Very conjured up over 250 appearances including plenty of J1 league experience Renova go to Tokushima Votis next Saturday for our next home match against promotion chasing Yokohama here in two weeks time need to have two home matches against Oita and Ryukyu so look forward to off the back of this one. Only half an hour on the clock. Well, nearly 31 minutes. 1 0. Renault for lead. Black quickly up against K2. You made up. It's a clever ball from Sineda. Chips it over the top. He's gone for the run down the middle. He just went slightly too quickly. Did Kato, you made up. One that's going to need to be dealt with by Jefferson. Placed right into the corner. Clearance by Kusimoto. So 
That's had a hit, though. A keep up. Keen to, keen to get some more out of his players so far. They've been overrun by a determined Renofa. Don't look like a side that haven't won in seven. Leading, and deservedly so, and they could have been leading by more. Not once but twice. Watanabe. It's another ball into that channel. Watched away by Jefferson and wins the throw. to go to half time. Shibata. Coming deep. Rizuki made up. Takashi. Plenty of possession. Plenty of opportunity to get forward. It's another ball over the top, and that will almost certainly be a flag. Not that it's necessary because it's run straight through to Tadakado. Looks as if there were two offside there. Could have wished he'd made the run. And Keita Yamido as well. Goalkeeper clears under a little bit of pressure from Subaki. Sato to Tadakado. Watanabe. Okay, Kukuchi. It's quickly shifted forward, and that's a good return. Kuwahara gets it into the box, and very nearly stole in there, you know, no matter. Jefferson left it, and I hope it will roll across him. Very nearly didn't. Suki Sato. Mate. Such came off of Takayuki May. And the referee overrules the assistant referee. We've got a view from two yards away where it happened. So. Yamagachi. Goalkeeper was born in France and made his name with Lorien in Ligue 1 in France. Before moving to his native. Japan, where he is a Japanese under 23 international, he was last season. Oh, that's another stray pass from Kuriyashi. He's had a couple of mishaps at the back in the first half as Takei at Kuriyashi. It's weeks of playing on dry pitches. Have adapted to some very different conditions today. Yamada back to goalkeeper Yamagachi. His clearance wasn't particularly long, straight over the head of Tanaka. There's Tanaka again, but it's been flicked on. Yoshioki can only find Yamada and mops things up at the back. Maida. It's the half time. We don't need half time at the moment. That's a good ball into the channel, and this time he's onside. Yamida pulls it back. Takahashi gets it back up in the air. Yamida again. That's good defending by Kanzuki Sato. Experience to pop in and just head the ball back to his goalkeeper, Terakado. Sato again. Kikuchi. experienced side that they've got here. Renova. 
It's all heads at the back. Watanabe, Kikuchi in midfield. Sato have all played a lot of football in J1. Vermeida served its purpose. Yamada. Suneda slows it down. Jefferson. Subaki. Jefferson. Subaki won't get on the end of that, but Jefferson was fouled. A free kick has been given. This might be an opportunity just to send some of the big men up ball into the box, ask a few questions. It's an unnecessary foul really there from Kanzuki Sato. Big moment. It's a good delivery. Held the line well. The run off up. Only partially cleared. That's a good block. And they are Ardija down in the relegation places. They are losing at home to playoff chasing Nashida Zelvia. By a goal to nil. That game like this one just heading into half time. Dudu. There's the goal. Nishida Zalvia. Yokohama have taken the lead. Big goal that against Fagiano. The leaders ahead. Yamashita with a goal 19 minutes from time. Here come Renofa leading here by a goal to nil thanks to this man. Tanaka scoring inside his own half. This side he sends it wide to Kawahara. product they're able to stroll away with the ball Mito and send it over towards the left hand side and they'll keep Subaki and his shirt pulled by Yoshioka Final five minutes of the first half. Jefferson. Tokichi now 2 0 up away. Blur Blitzer gets up. Actually, four unbeaten. Tochigi just one win in the last six, so that one's not going to the form book. So we're going to pick up all three points there, Tokichi. Should just about make them safe. Jefferson. Right up. It's the feet of Senado. He's always busy, always looking for an option. Very nearly slipping in Yamada there, but it just ran away from Yamada. Straight through to goalkeeper Terracado. Six attempts on goal from the home side, just one from the visitors. 47% possession for the home side. Have more of the possession. Me too. They've not really created an awful lot with it.
this side. Bossed the ball at times without a cutting edge. We've got goals in this team. Sinedo, Subaki, three apiece. He made a three, so Sinada's five goals he's got. Promoted last season, Sinada. With uh, Kyoto Sanga, I know he did only make three appearances for them on their way to the second spot in J2. Clearance away. Blocked by Yamada. Sineda. Jefferson. Dohai. Sabaki comes back inside. Made up. Got caught, and there's going to be a straight red card. Foot up, and a game changer as Takayuka May is sent off. He can't believe it, and it'll be certainly one to look at again here. And a red card for Takayuka May for this challenge on Maida. Oh, he's gone in over the top onto the shin, and the referee has got an exceptionally good view. This will tell us just how bad it was. Yeah, that's a red card. It's a wet, skinny, zippy surface out there. And you've got to have to be able to control those sorts of challenges. It's a leg breaker. And the 28-year-old recently returning to the club for Matsumoto Yamaga. Must this depart, and he can't really argue. Whilst I don't think there was any intent at all, he has lost control in a sliding challenge on a zippy pitch. And a straight red card was quickly brandished by the referee, Tomohiro Inoue, who was in the best position. That might just change the thought process of the two managers going in at half-time. I know if we just want to get in at half-time and keep that lead in place. We're into stoppage time at the end of the half. Just waiting for the fourth official to readjust the number of minutes added on on the board. A spot on decision by the referee, you cannot do that. Degree of sympathy for Taki Yuki made because the conditions make challenges like that all the more easier to make. And if you catch someone on the shin pads like that over the top, you're off. Ball into the box, and that's a good header away by Watanabe. And now. Mito Hollyhock, who have been bossing the proceedings in terms of possession, need to find some end product. What can they find with Jefferson? Well, the answer to that is very nearly an equaliser. Squeezed just the wrong side of the post. It's a great ball, this, from Sineda. Jefferson brings it down, comes inside, makes room for the shot. It's done ever so well, Jefferson. That's not bad. Just lacked a little bit of curl which would have taken it behind the left hand of Terracado. It did take a deflection on its way through because the referee is given a corner. Takagishi comes across to take it. Wasted in, could have gone anywhere, nearly had a Flick on Takagishi's corner. It's back in again. Just over the top of the crossbar. It's good delivery in from Subaki. Looping header. From Yamada onto the roof of the net.
halfway through those four minutes of added time. At the end of the first half. From Peter Hollyhock needing half time. Ricard has changed everything and now it's Renufa that needs to reorganise. Yoshioka has just dropped into the wing back position. They're kind of playing at 3 4 1 1 at the moment. With Yamata locking in just in front of the two midfielders. Sineda. Back Takagishi, but it's chipped in towards the penalty area, taken well by Umeda. Subaki, bit of space here, sent wide by Umeda. Kuruishi, who's in an offside position, flag up, free kick. That might just see Renofa Yamagotchi through to half time. Good value for their lead. Just have to change the tactics in the second half. Following Takayuki Mai's sending off. Second red card for them in two weeks. There is a half time whistle in the rain. And it's Renofa that lead Mitu Hollyhock by a goal to nil at half time. And a sensational goal early on as well. Six minutes on the clock. Wataru Tanaka deep inside his own half, spotting Luis. Yamagotchi off his line, lofted it over the top of him and brilliantly into the net to give the home side the lead. They've had a couple of decent chances since then. Mito Hollyhock have had the better of the possession without creating too many chances, but the red card for Takayuki May just before half time changes the whole complexion of this game at half time at the Ishim Me Life Stadium. It's Renault for one, Mito Hollyhock nil.
response from Mito this first half. Plenty of possession. That was probably the best chance. Jefferson, the shot, took it down really well between the three defenders and just wide. Mito Holyoke players make their way out for the second half. Trailing by a goal to nil, but with 45 minutes in which to try and press home a one-man advantage following the red card for Takayuki Mai just before half-time. 
Foul on Rizuki made up. Two sets of players now out onto the field. Looks like Mito are unchanged. It looks like Renofa are going to go with the 10 that they've got. With Yoshioka dropping into the right wing back position. Vacated by the red carded Takayuki mate. Where the top two have both won by one goal to nil in the earlier kickoffs. Giving them a real foothold at the top of the table. Yuki still leading by two goals to one now. In that game at home to Montedio. 15 minutes left in that. Lobritz Akita have just started in the second half. 3 0 down at home to. Torchigi at half time. Jeff United nil to Shiba Votis nil is a final score. Second successive nil nil draw for Jeff United Shiba this week at home. As we get off and underway for the second half. Into Hollyhock in the white shirts and blue shorts. It's the all black strip of Renofa. Jefferson easily sees off the challenge from Numata. Back by Yoshioka. Very congested at the moment. That's a neat through ball from Maida. Not too many opportunities to pass the ball there from Kudo Dohai. Had Sabaki to the left, but decided to try and chip it towards goal. Fed to him. Uh, yep, you made up. Go height with the shot, which was over the bar. The opening minute of the second half. 1 0 on an off lead, thanks to that wonderful first half goal. Very early on from Watura Tanaka from inside his own half. Watch his clearance. Foul on Umeda, who's then pushed over, and the referee's asking the players just to calm things down. No further action, just a free kick. It's a foul by Umeda and Sato. in there, Kuwahara, Sinead up, Kusumoto, what can he do? club back in January from Renofa, back at his old club today, the captain Kusumoto, there he is, a happy return so far, imagine having bossed the ball for much of the first half without any reward, they will be bossing the ball for much of the second half with a one-man advantage, me too, but it needs to be better than that long ball forward towards Subaki. Three minutes gone in the second half. The issue Me Life Stadium. Yamagachi. Narodo Fat lead by a goal to nil. Carefully forward by Watanabe. It's a good ball as well. Finding Yoshioka. Miki. Into corner. Does exceptionally well. Against Kuzumoto, his former teammate. Gets a 
away as well to win a corner. Takahashi, Watanabe, Kikuchi all in the box. Up from the back. Second goal would be welcome relief for the home fans who expect this to be a long half. Ten men on the pitch. Here comes the corner. It's attacked very well. And Kuroishi. Not completely cleared yet. Yoshioka. Tanaka is on this right hand side. Here he is. Runs it deep as well, it's a good ball in. Jefferson with a final touch, it's another corner. Good pressure this from Renata. Last home win was mid-June. It's long overdue. From here, who's the home to Mishida? Ryukyu currently beating Ontario. Out comes at the moment for those bottom two. I know if I could get the victory here, it would go a long way towards pulling them away. The relegation battle. Delivery is deep. Jefferson's header was a free header. Scooped out wide from Tanaka. Sato, Tanaka, Yoshioka, flag is up, it's up against Watanabe, who'd stayed forward from the corner. Space made up. It's a lovely return to Maida. It's good defending in the end. Just got in front Kuahara and that initiated the foul for Maida, who was instrumental in this move. Made up. Continued his run into the box. It was very unfortunate. If he could have got in front of Kuahara, that could have been a different story. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Still 1 0 to Brenofa. Yuku nine minutes away from victory at the bottom. They're leading 2-1. Near Adija into the second half. Rather like this one. Losing that home to Mashida Zelvia by a goal to nil. Thespa in the bottom two. Beating Vegalta by a goal to nil. I can tell you that's a goal. For Nakagura early in the second half, just scored that goal, Thespa. Having missed a penalty right on the stroke of half time, Thespa into the bottom two. Uh, they're, they're really struggling at the moment. If they can get a win there, uh, Ryukyu to Montedeo Yamagata to. I can tell you, there's an equaliser there. They were 2 0 up in that game, bottom club Ryukyu. That's good news, certainly for Renofa Yamagachi, especially if they can hold on to something here. Kusumoto, down by Kuruishi. Seneda, gets it back again, Seneda. Leaves it. Oh, that's a really good ball, zipped in. Super delivery from Takagishi. No 
when you deliver a ball like that, you have every right to be slightly aggrieved that there was no one on the end of it. It was just too much for Tobacchi and Jefferson. Here come those changes. It looks like a triple change for the visitors. Kunashita Nizatu, the captain, is coming on and uh, on loan from Yokohama. Yusunata, uh, Yusunaga rather, is uh, going to come on in search of that equalising goal. They're going to hold off from making that change until the next break in play. Suki Sato gets it back. Dohai is chasing. Drilled forward by Terakado. Kuroishi gives it back to goalkeeper Yamagochi. As we hit the 10 minute mark in the second half. He's given his starting 11 an extra 10 minutes. Is Tadahiro Akibi. Now he's going to ring the changes, freshen things up in search of an equaliser. Maybe just add a slightly more attacking dimension to their game as they have a one man advantage. But it's the home side down to 10 that have a one goal advantage. Jefferson goes for the return. Gishi's ball had too much pace and it annoyed. Jefferson somewhat behind for a goal kick. First change will be Jefferson coming off. That's his last input. Yamada's off as well. Replaced uh, Nizatu. Dohai is the other man off. So taking off an attack in midfield or bringing on someone that's essentially a forward. And he'll join Amida in attack, Kinoshita. Ten goals this season. One of the top goal scorers in the division. We'll see how things pan out at the back, but it does look as if they've gone to a three at the back. out as we go along. Kinoshita's goals this season have been priceless to Mitu Halihuk. They've got some defending to do at the moment. Kuwahara meant to throw. He's got four goals this season, the former VVM player. Bouncing around and fell favourably. He made up. Just run it out of play. side would do for a second goal right now to give them some breathing space. Ninety seconds shy of the hour mark. It's a corner. Far enough. Up. 
underneath the crossbar. Attacked by Kuzumoto, with his goalkeeper. Another long ball forward, out of the way. Cross coming in. For a goal kick. Good play from the matter. Gashi. Attack at Gashi, rather. It's uh, well, it's dropped into that back line. Sonada. Space for Maida. Done well to get anything out of that one. Sonada, this is Subaki. Sonada, what's deflected away and dealt with well. Chance to clear with Shishioki. Takes well. Bouncing up for Subasa Amika. Referee says play on. Yusunaga comes away with it. There's Yusunaga. Takagishi. Sonada. Sonata. Takagashi. Sonada again. To the ball. Now to Kuroyashi. Great through ball. The shot was straight at the goalkeeper. Clever through ball out from Takagishi. Starting to strangle the possession again at the moment. Sonida gets the return from Subaki. It's a corner. 28 minutes to go. Oh, good to throw in a big upon. Subaki into traffic. It's been one back well. Yusunaga. Chip through, it's a great ball. Now, did he get the ball there? There was a big question. Challenge from Takahashi to keep out Kinoshita, who was sizing up a shot from just outside the six yard box. In the end, it was good defending by Takahashi. Brings it down quickly. Couldn't get it from underneath his feet to get away from Takahashi, who did enough. So Baki goes on the outside. Pull back, falls to Sineda. Takahashi. It's defence against attack at the moment. Takagashi. Sinaga. Uh, Yuso Moto. Takagishi. So backy. Interesting ball into the box, and it's a good header away. And Watanabe turn back in and watch carefully behind for a goal kick. Mariku Tadakaru and the home side are going to freshen things up now. 
Off comes Umiki. It's going to be replaced by the former Mashida Zelva player. Kishidi. Kazuhito Kishidi has two goals this season. First change for the home side. Stretches out at the moment. They're just holding off for making this change. Miki is off. He's on the stretcher. Kishida is on. Quick reminder of what's coming up on the J-League International YouTube channel. Next live action is next Saturday. 1900 hours Japanese time. 1100 hours British summer time. We'll be bringing in the action for the NAC5 stadium as struggling Amir Adija. Entertain playoff chasing Montadeo Yamagata. We're the informed side in this league at the moment. A huge match at both ends of the table. So be sure to join us next Saturday in the J-League International YouTube channel for some great live action from the J2. following week, we will be on the Sunday at the Kanazawa Stadium for Zvejan against Amir Ardija. wide from Nizato. Swivels and wins a free click. Clever play, actually, by Tanaka. Inviting the foul from Kuroishi. Yamagotchi. Is it that to Takagishi? Sonata. Back inside with Tsubaki. The pieces picked up by Sato. And a quick through ball. Nearly releasing Kishida. Almost well, got his first touch. Kuroishi. That's it. So back in. The cross made up. Just balling Kinoshita didn't quite react quick enough there as we hit that. Halfway point of the second half. I don't know if up. I've held on to that one goal lead without too many nervous moments. They've had to absorb a lot of pressure. I rather like the first half. No end product from Mito Hollyhock. That's why they've brought on Kinoshita. Too many players have hit double figures this season. In the J2, he's one of them. Ryuka to Montadeo Yamagata 2 is a result. Amiya Ardija nil, Machida Zelvia 1 remains the latest. Thespa a winning against Vigalta Sendai. What that would do is it open up a seven point gap between second and third, and it does look like Elbrex, Nigata, and Yokohama are well on course for automatic promotion. Down at the bottom, it'd be Ryuku. Stay bottom. Two points for safety. Thespa will climb out of the bottom three, and Grula Morioka would drop in. It's kept 
kept alive by Sato. The long ball over the top was not in any way, shape or form dangerous from Kuwahara. And the home side are getting ready to make another change. Looks like a drinks break first. Though they are warming up a couple of subs that were getting ready a few moments ago. They had the board out. This is the second half drinks break. Fifty kilometer flight over 1,000 kilometers by road from the far side of Tokyo to Yamaguchi in the west, which is, as I mentioned earlier, known as the entrance to the mountains. I too flew down to Uber Airport last night. I think you can hear the animated voice of Tadahiro Akiba on the touchline saying, "Look, it needs to be better." got a one-man advantage we've got all the possession we've got one of the main strikers in the division Koki Kotoda is coming on so back he's off as well and Asaki on. So two changes by the side of the defence, just to freshen things up down the down the flanks, really. Number two and number three on here is the number three, Asaki. His first touch a little too far ahead of Yasunaga. Moved away by Tadakado. Sineda, still Sineda. All the way past Takahashi. Sinaga. Kusumoto, the captain. At least he started the game as captain. He's handed that handband over to Nizatu now. Cross from Kusoda. Clear the way. Kusoda again. Yokohama F. Marinus, youth team player, never made a first team appearance though. Through the middle, that's a nice touch. Sent wide by Yusunaga. And the overlap was Misaki, but again, they've got bodies back there. Renova to clear the ball. 18 minutes to go. Homestein still leading by a goal to nil. Will that amazing, oh, amazing early goal from Tanaka win this game? goal that everyone's talking about this weekend. Frustratingly, comes off a Nizato and behind for a goal kick. Started the weekend, five points clear of the relegation places. Thespa are winning at the moment. Ryukyu have drawn. We are currently behind at home. Free kick given. Point to Trinita, three. Gurula Morioka nil, and it looks like Gurula are going to drop back into the relegation places with a heavy defeat away from home. This won't save Renofa, but it'll do an awful lot for their confidence. 
if they can hold on, but having the defending numbers and a shot coming in. It was rising. Good work from Seneda. Usimida. He couldn't keep the shot down. Changes coming shortly. Takagi is coming on. I see Takai as well, who started last week. Doesn't look as though Kukichi can carry on for much longer. At least he's got a spot of cramp at the moment. On come the medics. Chance for us to quickly remind you once again that we are live again next weekend in the Maida Yoshida J2 League here on the J-League International YouTube channel. 1900 hours Japanese time, 1100 hours BST. Next Saturday, we'll be bringing you the action for the NAC5 Stadium. Amiya Ardija against Montedeo Yamagata. The following weekend, Sunday the 4th, same time, same place. Well, we'll be at the Ishikawa Kanazawa Stadium for Zvejin against playoff hopefuls Amiya Ardija. We will win it again today. Plenty of great action coming up on the channel in the next 14, 15 days or so. Here come those three changes. Koma, Takagi and Takei are the three players coming on. Yoshioka is the first player off. Mata also off. Placed by Take, he'll slot in, more defensive-minded midfielder. Kikuchi comes off. Jinokoma comes on now, he's a central defender. He has actually scored two goals this season, Jin Okoma, the former Marinos and Katana Toyama player. minutes for that man and his team to hold on. Four changes from the home side, five changes for Mito. We're still looking for an equaliser. Mizatu. Sineda. to Gotoda, gets a ball in, and a shooter jumping into the back of the defender, giving away the free kick. It's a good enough ball in, Just jumps into the back of Watanabe after he'd headed the ball clear. Happy to take that free kick. 13 minutes to go, counting down the minutes slowly, Renova. Stepping inside, Asaki out number two to one. Asaki wins it back again and loses out. Foul by Takai, no, says the referee. Yasunaga. Yasunaga coming on as a sub. He's on loan from Yokohama, F. Maris, uh, F. Marinus, where he Made 60 appearances. Made up. Sukusumoto. Katoda. Zatu was peeling down the right hand side. 
Matoda. Sineda, it's blocked. The free plays on, should have given the free kick really, but carried forward by Tanaka, but he loses out. Dangerous. Saki. Turn back in towards goal. The goalkeeper got a solid hand to that. From the side-footed shot from Nizato. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. Nizato hit it well. With the instep of his right foot. It has died off in this second half. Super zippy and wet underfoot. Comes a corner, another very deep corner. Headed back across, but it's behind from Kuzumoto. Tall defender. Got up high. No direction, really. No danger. Goal kick. We're into the last 10 minutes. Wonder goal from Wataru Tanako. The difference between the two sides. There he is, scoring. Ten yards inside his own half. A lob over the goalkeeper and in. He was very good early on. Renofa could have had more. Dominated the game. And suddenly that Takayuki May sending off for an over-the-top challenge. It's left them slightly exposed. But as Mito have had plenty of ball. Found it difficult to make chances. They've thrown on their goal machine, Kinoshita, but he hasn't responded as yet. Switching the play, Tagagishi, but that was very disappointing. Lifted back in towards the box. Kinoshita took it down on the chest. It ran away from him and went away from goal. It's a good block. Kusumoto. Kusanaga. Kutodo. It's a good turn from Nizato. Cleared away again. He's going to pull that one back for a free kick. Four minutes to go in their game. And Mia 1 0 down at home to Mishida. Blula. They're trailing by three goals to nil. Blubber to Kita. 3 0 down at home to Chichigi. Big results again down at the bottom. Robits are not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. to Mito Hollyhock in 13th. The teams that have yet to reach the 40-point mark. I'm sure 40 points would be enough.
home side, enjoying a little bit of possession, which they haven't had a lot of in this second half. Takagi out wide, cross looped into the box by Tanaka. Cleared away. Made up. Off goes Asaki. Wrestling and losing out to Takahashi was determined. That was an interesting leap, to say the least. Takai that beats highest. There's Takai again. Anywhere will do. Zato. Kusumurza. Saki. It's a good interception. Striding forward. Daisuke Takagi, it's a good ball as well. Couldn't quite coax the ball through Kashida to the run of Takai. Two subs nearly, three subs nearly combining there. A rare attack for the home side, but it's all hands to the pump as they get behind the ball. We're into the final five minutes. Five minutes is for Vranofa. Flag is up. They've defended very well. Defence brilliantly marshalled by Takahashi and Watanabe. Four minutes to go as Takari takes the goal kick. It's a foul. Foul by Omeda. Down goes Sato. Trying to allow a few more seconds to run past on the clock. Inches towards three points. First home win since June. First win in eight. Cross from Katoda. It's deep. Drops behind for a goal kick eventually. Katoda on that Maranas youngster. Able to keep the ball in play with his cross. Takakishi from, uh, from the start. He's had to drop back into the defence now. Got a few me Watanabe. Just saw him there with the captain's armband. He's had an excellent game at the back. For Renofa holding it all together. Two and a half minutes plus injury time. One will in the air by Kusumoto. He'll win them all day long. Saki. This is Takagishi. Sanaga. Fed back by Kashida. Goalkeeper wasn't sure what to do, but to pick it up or kick it. He did kick it, Terracano. Caught a little bit off guard and in two minds. Katoda. Disappointing cross. Thumped away by Sato. Takagishi. Kusumoto. Sanaga. Sanada, what can he conjure up? It's got the overlap of Yusanaga. He can't get the cross in. It's come in from Sanada. Get away. Kusumoto. Saki. Kusumoto again. Just 
pretty high. The referee gives a free kick. It's a foul inside that box. With a minute to go, that will be a welcome decision for the home side who are edging towards three big points. Krula losing. Amiya losing. Earlier on today, Ryukyu threw away a two-goal lead at Hotel Monteday and drew 2-2. Smetan's game called off against VVN. Thesper winning 1-0. Two minutes into stoppage time in that game. Looks like that goal by Nakagura after they'd missed a penalty. Kazama missed the penalty on the stroke of half-time. That could be a massive result for Thesper. As big a result as this could be. I don't know if they can hold on. We'll find out in a minute how many minutes of added time to expect. Yusunaga. Kutoda. Suneda. Zatu. Takagishi. It's all very intricate. And it could have worked, but Kinoshita couldn't quite get away from his marker in time. And out comes Riku. Terracado. Four minutes of added time, by the way, have been added on. And they're nearly there. Renofa. Still time for Mito Hollyhock. Stumbling Yasunoga. Referee says play on. Switch by Nazato. Nasaki. Trying to get the cross in Kinoshita. Into throw. Final change for the home side. Yamaze. Here's the player coming on. To replace the goal scorer. Tanaka. Winning goal scorer potentially. On comes the 40 year old former Japanese international. Over 100 caps, Yamaze. What a great player he was. Still does a job. Just try and solidify things for the final few minutes. Header down across the face of goal. It's turned back again. That's good defending. Beaten behind by Ikoma for a corner. Nearly halfway through those four minutes of added time. Delivery and into the side netting off the outside of the post from the header for Takumi Kusumoto. Deep delivery from Kine, uh, from uh, Mizato. The big defender often rises high at the far post. I'm surprised he's only got one goal this season, actually. The 26 year old Kusumoto, uh, 90 seconds away from defeat. And that man has been excellent at the back, Watanabe. 34-year-old is been solid as a rock. Not a single error from him. Sliced up in the air. And out for a throw. Kicking the water bottle in frustration there, Kinoshita. Final minute of stoppage time. He won't be in a hurry to take this. Takagi trying to gain a few yards. It's the Mito Hollyhock bench are quickly pointing out. Kusumato wants to get a move on. This could be the last chance for Mito Hollyhock to grab a point against the 10 men. Takagishi, long hoist forward. Going to run out. It is clever defending, actually, by Takagi. 
It might just be there now. Under a little bit of pressure. It is a corner. It did come off of Takagi. There were no arguments. Last chance for me to... Even the goalkeeper's come up. There is Yamagotchi. And he's scoring Yamagotchi. First header again for Kusumoto. And again, there's no end product. It's well off target behind for a goal kick. A glance of the watch from Yoshihiro Natsuka. Into time added on at the end of the four minutes of stoppage time now. This might well be the last kick of the game, you know. It is. Renofa with a first win in eight. The relief is there for all to see. A clean sheet for him, which has been a long time coming. And more importantly, three points for Renofa Yamagotcha. Nito Hollyhock huffed and puffed, but they simply could not throw the Renofa house down. Hirofumi Watanabe, the captain was heroic at the back but it's all about the goal and it's all about the sending off a brilliant goal from inside his own half from Watsuro Tanaka after just six minutes proved to be decisive Takayuki May sent off but they held on Renofa and take all three points a big three points as well final score at Yishin Milai Stadium Renofa Yamagotchi one Mito Hollyhock nil しっかり勝利をつかみ取りました。今率直にどんなお気持ちでしょうか。いや、本当に。まあ、苦しい試合でしたけど。まあ、勝ち切ることができて素直に嬉しいです。田中渡選手のスーパーロングシュート、素晴
僕たちを奮い立たせてくれたので本当にこの勝利はサポーターのおかげだと思います。しっかりと勝ち点さんをもぎ取りました。今率直にどんな気持ちでしょうか。もうあのサポーターの本当に後押しがあって、でやっぱり、えー、冬にはねあの高川県が、えー、いい成績を収めましたし、えー、今ね本当下関関国際国際のねがもう本当に諦めないでっていう。うん、山口県民のみんなにね力を与えてくれているのでやっぱりプロである僕らがねそ,そこは負けられないただ、やっぱり試合的にはねうん褒められた内容ではないんですけど、まあ、でも1人少ない中で、えー、しっかりと魂を込めてしっかりと守備から入ってくれたので、えーまあ、そこは本当に今日は褒めてあげたいと思います。その一人少なくなった後ハーフタイムではこう勝つために何が必要かを考えろという話をされたと聞いていますけれどもそのあたり選手たち表現してくれましたかあのそ,それは、ね、いつも言っていることですけどやっぱり、うん、あの守ってばかりじゃだめだと思ったので、まあ、カウンターの矢は持ちながらもただ、やっぱり水戸さんも、ね、試合巧者ですのでなかなかうまくいきませんでしたけどでも最後の最後は体張ってみんなが守ってくれたので。うんまあ、勝ち点さんを取れたのかなと思っていますその勝ち点さんは田中航選手のあの素晴らしい超ロングシュートだったわけですけどあのゴールどうご覧になりましたかいやスーパーです<笑>常にやっぱりゴールを狙うって言って言い続けてるので、うん、しっかり見てたしキーパーの、えー、ポジショニングも、うん、あとはもう技術的にも、うん、素晴らしいゴールだと思いますそれではこの勝ち点さん勝利を次にどうつなげていきますかもちろんもう次はねもうアウェーで徳島さんなので、うん、あの前向きなサッカーを魂を込めてやりたいと思います。
。まずはお疲れ様でした。90分どのように振り返られ,られますか。何もない。今季最低なゲームです。どのあたりをそのように感じられましたか。いやもう技術どうこうじゃない。戦う気持ち勝つ執念。相手ねじ伏せようとする。全く見れない。いやいいですよ。技術的にはどうでもいいよ。そうじゃない。相手に勝つんだとか。ゴール奪うんだとかそういう気持ちは全く見れないまた2日間ありますからしっかりと何が何でもリバウンドメンタルで見せてホームまでに蘇生できるようにしっかりと全員でやりたいと思いますそのあたりがなかなかこう出せなかった要因というのは選手たちにどこにあるというふうに感じられますかいや言い訳すればいくらでもありますよ一つ一週間飛んだとかアウェーだとかまだコンディションが戻んねえとかそんな言い訳はいっぱいありますけどそんなことが許されるチームじゃないですし戦わない、走らない、勝利しようとしないそんなのは未到力じゃないし俺のサッカーではないので二度としないようにしっかりと全員でもう一度自分たちに野獣心向けてまた戦いたいと思います。ありがとうございました